All right, uh, let's uh, push right on to our next question. This is from Marissa. Uh, she has read that black holes are far more pervasive than previously thought. Do we have a reason to fear them more? Always fear black holes. Mm. Next question. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. There you go. Um, so what you, you ultimately would need. So the scariest thing is a black hole that's not being orbited by anything. OK, because if it's being orbited by something, you can say, hey, why is that star making loop the loops and there's nothing inside the loop? Oh, there must be a black hole there. So you can infer the presence of the black hole. If stars get too close to a black hole, the black hole flays the star, stripping it of its outer gases. And you can see a highly radiant spot where the material is 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 heated by friction as it spirals down into the abyss. Then you say, let's avoid that. But if you have a wandering black hole with nobody in its vicinity, that you can end up stepping in it, and that would be bad for you. So, yes, so we need some sort of black hole detectors. There are ways to do it because they distort the imagery behind it because of the fabric of space and time are curved. So if you're going to go through long interstellar voyages and you want it to be really, really safe, you bring in black hole sensors, and then you just go around them. They're not vacuum cleaners trying to suck you in. And Chuck, an old joke that we used to say, it, there's no such thing as gravity. Earth sucks. I don't know if I knew that. <laughs> That's one we told in high school. Um, so anyhow, they're not giant vacuum cleaners, but you just you don't want to get too close to them because then you will never escape them. So, yes, you need black hole sensors for your interstellar journey going forward. So so the black hole without anything orbiting it is kind of the cosmic equivalent of black ice when you're driving. Yeah. Uh, sure. Except black ice, you will end up, you will end up, uh, you'll skid across and come out on the other side. Right. Whereas a black hole, you fall in and never come out. So other than that minor difference, yes, they're exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That... <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be cool if you drove onto black ice and then the, the car nose dove into the pavement and then you never saw it again. Uh, you... Then that would be a closer analog. Yeah. Well, that, and it would also make me hate the fact that they call it black ice even more. Because by the way, Ice is white. Okay, people. <laughs> all right. So why is everything gotta be a black thing to you? Because Jeff? I live in America. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about anything in the history of the world. <laughs> if it's bad and it's black, Chuck is just there's the black plague in the 14th. And that's and uh, why well, I gotta be black. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> why gotta why I gotta be the black? black? Why is really okay? <laughs> I am not taking part in this part of the conversation. No, no, that's right. <laughs> Benjamin Ratner, yes. 